This is how American farmers cultivate and harvest soybeans. The Americas, predominantly the United States, Brazil, and Argentina, are the greatest soybean producers in the world, producing 90% of the global soybean supply. In the U.S., over 80 million tons of soybean are produced every year, and the industry is worth over $15 billion. It's an incredibly important crop for the economy, and it's one of the most profitable cash crops in the world. Soybean is an edible legume that resembles a pea. It provides valuable protein for millions of people across the globe and is a reliable feed for livestock. It is often used as an excellent vegetarian protein source due to its texture and versatility. Tofu and soya milk are examples of this. The oil can be used to make products like margarine and vegan cheeses, as well as an ingredient in paints, adhesives, fertilizers, and many other products. So how is soybean grown? Firstly, mature individual soybeans are selected for certain traits, such as growth rate, hardiness, color, and drought resistance. Typically, farmers grow a winter crop like corn or wheat in rotation with soybeans. When the soybeans are harvested in mid-October to November, the field can then be used for the next crop. In America, soybeans are planted between May and July. The beans can be planted in tilled or plowed soil with a tractor and a planter, or they can be drilled directly into the ground using a seed drill without tilling the land first. This latter method is more desirable. It is less time consuming and is better for the soil and the environment. Plowed soil can lose its moisture content, structure, and organic content, but soybean can be drilled into the fields directly on top of stubble from the previous crop. Soybean is an excellent crop for the soil. Like all legumes, it is a nitrogen-fixing plant. This means that it has a symbiotic relationship with bacteria and its roots. These bacteria take nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into soluble nitrogen that the plant can use in exchange for carbohydrates. Soybean, therefore, requires less nitrogenous fertilizers to grow, and the nitrogen-rich soil is beneficial for the rotation crop. Soybean plants begin to sprout four to seven days after being sown. As young, fresh plants, they are vulnerable to pests. Farmers sometimes spray them to prevent damage from insects such as aphids, whitefly, and different caterpillar species. Whilst these pests are a threat to soybean yields along with pathogens and viruses, the biggest problem soybean farmers have are weeds. These plants compete with the soybean crop for light, nutrients, and water. Weeds can also harbor pests and contaminate the harvest, lowering its value. They can be responsible for up to 80% loss of soybean production, so knowing how to treat them effectively is crucial for soybean producers. It is very difficult to extract weeds from fields once they have established. It is easier and more cost-effective to stamp them out before they have a chance to grow. To do this, farmers can use herbicides. There is a plethora of herbicides for farmers to choose from. Overuse has led to some of the more traditional herbicides becoming ineffective against certain weeds because they have grown resistant to them. Newer ones are being developed all the time, and some combat the weeds before they have emerged from the soil. If soybean plants have survived to maturity, then in the summer months the plant flowers. It is from these flowers that the soybean pods grow. During fall, the leaves turn brown and drop off, exposing the pods. These can then be harvested. A combine harvester is used to cut the crop and separate the beans from the pods. The beans can then be taken to the processing plant. In 2022, the U.S. exported 57 million metric tons of soybean. This had an economical value of $34 billion. The largest market for the U.S. grown beans is China. But Mexico, the EU, Egypt, and Japan are also within the top five places that import America's soybeans. Soybean production has received bad press. Its production has exploded in recent years, but it has been linked to deforestation in South America. Furthermore, more than two-thirds of soybean production is grown to feed livestock. This is primarily pig and poultry production. Some argue that growing crops to feed animals doesn't make sense. About 95 grams of soy is used to produce 100 grams of farmed salmon and 96 grams of soy for 100 grams of chicken breast. But an increase in demand for meat, dairy, and soybean oil has driven a rise in land use for soybean cultivation. This is a hot topic when it comes to concerns over global climate change. 
The impact of soybean production on the environment is less of a problem in the United States, however. This is because soybeans are usually grown on arable farmland, which has been around for centuries. The detriment to the environment comes when biodiverse land is cleared to make way for soybean production. In the United States, soybean is typically grown in the upper Midwest. This accounts for more than 80% of America's soybean cultivation. In 2022, the biggest producers of soybean in America were Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota. Soybean cultivation is an important part of America's economy. But what does an individual farmer make from growing this crop? A bushel is about 60 pounds of harvested soybean. The current price for a bushel of soybean is about $15. This means that a farmer can expect to bring in a revenue of about $670 per acre of soybeans. Taking away the cost used to produce an acre of soybeans, farmers are predicted to make about $85 profit per acre of soybean in 2023. This is down on the previous two years. Although the price for soybean has reduced, it still appears to be a sound investment. It is currently one of the most profitable cash crops in the world. And with the growing trend in vegetarian and vegan foods, the use of soybean protein in human edible products is likely to continue to expand. The products created from soybean are wide and varied. There will always be a market for soybean protein and oil. Growing soybean, ideally in rotation with other crops, has massive benefits to farmers and their land. Soybean can enhance the soil for other crops. Not only do they aerate the soil with their roots and increase its nitrogen content, but they can reduce disease such as club root, which affects canola. Furthermore, fluctuating nitrogen fertilizer costs have little impact on soybean growers as they aren't required. In fact, they aren't the only things not required. Soybean agriculture requires relatively few inputs. Using insecticides, desiccants, and fungicides for soybean is minimal. Soybean plants can withstand the cold and wet. While snow and frost may damage some crops and excessive rainfall drown harvests, soybeans can still produce great yields. The crop does, however, suffer in the heat. This is why it is advisable to rotate soybean with other crops. Although soybeans seem to be the perfect, high-yielding, soil-enhancing crop for farmers, there are risks. This is true of all farming because so much is dependent on uncontrollable factors such as the weather, market trends, and global influence. With the increasing cost of fertilizers, some farmers are turning to producing soybean year on year without rotating it with another crop. This could be dangerous. Plant stress and diseases can quickly multiply and spread through a field of soybean. The soil, although rich in nitrogen, can become depleted in other essential nutrients required by the beans. But there are ways to combat these issues. Planting wider rows can help to increase airflow between the plants, which will inhibit the growth of white mold. Adding potassium and phosphorus to the soil will prevent nutrient deficiencies and give plants the best chance against disease and environmental stressors. Investing in seed treatments can protect soybean plants at their most vulnerable growth stages. Seeds treated with fungicides, pesticides, and growth regulators can provide protection and give soybean crops a kickstart in their life cycle. For now, it seems that soybeans are a great investment for farmers. There are concerns that global soybean production isn't sustainable due to its impact on the environment. But this is mostly in South America. Soybean isn't a new crop. It has been cultivated in Asia for thousands of years. The recent explosion in demand has driven the expansion of soybean production, and America is cashing in on this incredible crop.